question is from Mini Fig. What do you do when you have the right mindset to achieve your goals, but you have too many distractions keeping you from reaching them? All right, let's uh, let's butt fix. pigs do this to me all the time. <laughs> Man, totally understand. So this. Totally understand this question. True story. Like right when you're reading a, an article, you know, <laughs> yeah. science, and then see yeah. this is how to, I don't know how you do it. Oh no. Okay, so yeah. here, so we we got it right away. The way you're asking the question tells me you don't have the right mindset. <laughs> it does because just gonna call you out. Well, no, I mean, listen. Uh, what do you do when you have the right mindset, but you keep getting distracted? Right. You don't have the You're right not mindset. Focused, no, right. you don't have the right mindset. The right mindset doesn't allow you to to be distracted. Now, if you find that you're having an issue with distractibility, change your environment. Mm -hmm. You know, m change things around. I, I know for me, when I'm when I'm writing, for example, and I need to to create content. Now, in the past, anytime I create content, because I used to write, I wrote a lot of blogs before uh, we started Mind Pump as part of the, the original Maps program. But a lot of those were based off of inspiration, and it's not a problem. When I'm inspired, I'll just I'll, I can pump out, you know, two, three thousand words, no problem. the The problem was when I'm scheduled to write something, then I'm like, okay, I have to create some content. If my phone is next to me. I'm, it's going to take me forever. I get mm -hmm. distracted. Oh, got to check Instagram, check Facebook. Oh, I got to text so and so. What I do is I take my phone, I put on my Brain FM, which mm -hmm. is which is uh, wireless or whatever, uh, Bluetooth. Brain FM, by the way, if you don't know what that is, it's this company that produces these sounds that can produce different brain wave states. So like sleep, meditation, and then they have but one they called- made, They actually made it into music, which is the cool part. Yeah, so it's music and it's background sounds, and they have one called Focus, and it legit works. Like you put it on- That's how we're brainwashing and our in, audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put it on, and in 10 minutes, I'm in the- So in I the put outro. it on my phone, but yeah. I move my phone away from Buy me. Buy maps. Yeah, I, I put my phone on the table away <laughs> yeah. from me, and then it works. So you have to change, kind of change your environment. I, you know, yeah. I have something for you. Like, so- um, <laughs> Adderall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, could be right. It could be no. Uh, so sometimes we we set business. like these like uh, we have the right. She maybe she has the right mindset because she really wants this goal. She she starts off really focused, and then eventually what happens? Maybe the distraction is like a day she falls off, or you know I saw that she has a kid, and maybe the kid gets sick, or you have something that hits you like that, right? So and totally understandable. So something that I've I've done with myself for a really long time. Uh, it's how I started to really get into the, like to, in order to compete at the level that I competed, there was no, I didn't have an option, right? Like I had to have the right mindset to be able to compete with the 1%. So, and You're I down to the gram yes, with your diet, right? And, yeah. and no missing workouts, no nothing, tracking volume, all that. And so before I even like announced that I was going to compete, I was training for a year to even check myself would i have the mindset for this like am i you know am i just going to say i want to compete and then when it really comes down to like the the, the discipline that's going to take am i really going to follow through so before i even announced it on instagram or told the audience or told anybody i was doing going to do something like this i was already like training as if i was going to and what i had found would happen just like anything else in my in my career i'd be going along and then something would happen. It wouldn't be like a distraction that was like distracting me in my workout as much as it was a distraction in my life that would make me fall off a day or whatever. And so I do this thing where I compete with myself where, and this is where you have to decide what, what, what a good first goal is for yourself. So for me, it would be like, okay, I'm going to be perfect on my diet for the next two weeks and I'm not going to miss a single workout and I already have them scheduled out what I'm going to lift. So if like if you're following one of our programs and you know what you need to be eating and I'm tracking on my, my food tracker, so that's my first goal. Now, of course, when I hit that two weeks, I don't go celebrate and fall off. I, keep, I try and stretch it as long as I can, but I set a goal of something that maybe I haven't achieved yet. Like maybe lately I've stringed five days or seven days. I haven't been able to stretch beyond that. So I set a goal that's going to stretch me a little bit from what I've done before and I get to, and then I try and build on that. And so let's say I get past that, the two week mark and then uh, day 19, I was consistent per, and then day 19 distraction happens, uh, just a terrible day. Either the diet didn't come through or I missed a workout. What I do is I just go, okay, I, I just don't beat myself up over it. I go, okay, I made 19 days. Guess what the next goal is? 20 days. Can I now the next goal in my head is 20 days? Can I give 20 days of this consistency? And I just keep playing that game until it eventually builds on months where I'm, I'm starting to say, like, mm -hmm. okay, I've strung months and months and months uh, together. And that is has always helped me build 
momentum and consistency is not beating myself up over the the setbacks that are inevitable to happen with most people, mm -hmm. but always challenging myself to stretch myself a little bit further each time. Then before you know it, you've created a habit. I do a very similar thing to that, uh, but also in terms of like the environment that you know I I need to be able to like maintain this this level of focus. I mean that for me is is essential. And so whatever I have to do, if I have a very specific goal, like and for me it's usually. Uh, my office and and I'll go in downstairs and I'm basically I'll, I'll turn on brain FM as well like that's something that just helps me because my mind is so distractible already to you know think about all these other things coming up and uh, plus to having it on my phone it, it helps me to kind of put my phone away yeah, and then I can have that music playing um, you know over the speaker or in through my 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 earphones um, but just just for me to like kind of create that 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 space and environment it it gets everything working in that direction so much more effectively but uh you know on on a day-to-day -day basis like this is something too where i i have a list i have a list of priorities um when i'm really focused and dialed in on like this is a goal i need to achieve like i i am notching off a list i physically write it with a pencil on a pad and it's like old school but uh it it looks to me like what's the most achievable and like, and so I'll write that at the top and then like the ones that are going to take a little bit more time towards the bottom. And I just etch away at that. And, and it's something that I've, I try to be as consistent as that, but it's only for something like I'm, I know I need like massive focus on. Yeah. I think creating the environment and scheduling the time is, the, is the big one, right? Like schedule the time block, create an environment that is uh, immovable time. Yeah. That, it, it, and you know what? Sometimes that means you're in that time space and you can't think of, okay. So you just sit there and that's okay. This is the time I'm supposed to do what I'm supposed to do. And maybe not as great as I want it to be, but I'm going to block off this time and sit here and, and try and at least try because this is a skill that you build over time. Just like any skill you practice it and practice makes you better at it. Yeah. And you need to practice not being distracted. Set up your environment, set up your your situation, block off some time, and little by little, you'll find that each time you do this, your focus is better and better and better. It's also important to evaluate your priorities too. I mean, some people say this a lot to me that, oh, they're so serious about a goal. And it's like every holiday, every birthday, everything, you know, cousins, yeah. basketball, everything that comes up, like they don't want to miss because that is a more of a and not to, which is fine exactly yeah. not to judge anybody who does that like family is very important there's a lot of things that are really important like you have to be honest with yourself and what your priorities are and i'll tell you getting in competitive shape is very selfish and i remember d during that time i was constantly apologizing for yeah. that like because there was many things that i i opted not to do because i knew it was going to get in the way of this goal that was really important to me so people say like oh this i have the right mindset or this goal is so important to me but then they let the the most basic things distract them or get in their way it's like right. well it's really not that important to you though you, these other things are actually really important to you because every time one of these other things come up you you tend to it's, let that become yeah, the priority. factoring that in is a lot of times what determines uh, your success with I, that i think it's tough because people don't like to admit uh that their priorities are different than what they would like to project um you need to be okay with what your real priorities are and your actions actually tell you yeah. what your priorities are your words and your feelings you know they can give you hints but at the end of the day you know if you're somebody that really for example if you really really value animal rights uh, I, you can tell me all day long, but I can tell by your actions. Your actions will tell me if that's what you really believe in. You know, you could say that you're hardcore business person, entrepreneur, and you'll do anything to grow your business, but I can tell by your actions. If, and that's okay. You can be, it, it, you don't have to be all these other things. You can be just what you are. Yeah. Sometimes making that admission to yourself and be like, you know, this is actually my priority actually loosens you up a little bit and actually results in better focus. 100%. Yeah. My fitness and my physique right now is a reflection of the priority of my fitness as it, as it, on a, its priority list right now. Uh, the business is far more uh, of a priority right now. Max is far more a priority to me right now. I've got other stuff going on in my family, more of a priority for right now. And me, like, so I look like to the average person, somebody who works out or 
is healthy, but I'm by no means impressive right now. Like, but I'm okay with that. Like, it's not a priority right now. I'm t- taking care of myself. I'm staying on my mobility. I'm training. I, w- I pay attention to not over consume and over indulge. Your my- fitness is serving your other priorities rather yes. than your pr- other things serving fitness. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and there's, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with knowing that I'm not the most impressive fitness guy on Instagram right now. Like, I don't need to prove that to anybody, and it's not a priority right now. So, I think a lot of times it's just checking in with yourself and and really gut checking, saying, is this as much of a priority and and a goal and a mindset that I think I really want? And you know, maybe you're fooling yourself. Everybody wants their cake and eat it too. You want to, be, yeah, I want to look like the cover of Men's Health, but then I also want to work on my 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 business and grow and scale this massive company at the same time. Be there all the time for my son. Like, fuck, something's got to give. Yeah. And in this case, what's going to give for me is my commitment to the gym five to seven days a week is not. Not as much of a priority to me. I I can turn that up whenever I feel like it. Yeah, yeah. You got it. you you you. If you practice not being distracted, you'll get better at it. Also, distractions, getting distracted is uh, and learning to not be distracted is a skill. And it's just like meditation. When people meditate, part of what what meditation involves is learning how to keep the brain from getting distracted. You ask if you've ever tried meditating. You know how frustrating it is when you've only done it for you know six months. Uh, but then you talk to somebody who's been doing it for three or four years. And you find that they're far better at it. They didn't start off that way. Mm-hmm. It took them practice. So be easy on yourself and, and be honest with yourself.